Okay, fam. So, as I mentioned in my previous video about the Samsung curved display, um, I, honestly, I'm not a huge, huge fan of curved displays. Um, I know what they say about the immersiveness and all that good stuff, but what I'm looking for really for this space, I primarily use this like if I'm, this is a secondary desk space, right? And behind me is my autonomous desk setup, which is my personal, basically personal and work um, space. But for my, my primary job, I use this space here, right? And along with the iPad, with, as functionality comes to it more, um, you know, just a space to sit down and you know, shoot different videos, get different scenery. Anyway, make a long story short. Uh, looks like I have some folks calling here anyway, so I need to jump on this. Um, but yeah, anyway, I am actually uh, going to make a long story short, I'm gonna take this curved display back. So what I really want is to have a 32 inch smart or you know it could be a 1080p it doesn't have to be 4k i'm not all up on all the hype uh, as long as it has good good resolution and cheap i'm not trying to go all crazy insane i paid 200 bucks for this thing at walmart and it's going back today so instead of me doing all the crazy unboxing of the new item that i do i'm going to kind of do a snap forward which i'm not the best at the uh <laughs> the whole special effect stuff but I will uh, show you right after this video uh, the setup I decided to go with and I'm hoping I have an arm coming in, kind of an ergonomic arm coming in from Amazon today and I'm, I'm gonna place it basically where this monitor is sitting uh, which is gonna probably be like on the side towards the back corner there so that it's kind of out of the way but still, you know, uh, 32 inches is what I need. Uh, as long as I can bring the laptop over a little bit and whatever I'm using my laptop or iPad or tablet or Dex, uh, you know, that's what that monitor will be for. So I'm, I, I really a smart, something with smart features would be better for me because I can probably eliminate a lot of wiring by using Dex or AirPlay and stuff like that. Because technically, um, when you're using AirPlay, on the iPad right now. It's just iPad OS. I love the iPad and all. I plan on doing more productivity things with it, but it's just not there as far as com like competing as far as with a MacBook or uh, a PC or, or even a Chromebook for that matter. The external display features, Apple needs to update the software immediately, especially with this M1 uh, iPad. But anyway, I digress. I'll show you the new monitor right after this. Okay guys, so as you can see, I decided to swap out because I, I really wanted the space. I'm not too huge on all the resolution technology stuff just yet. Um, and thankfully I have pretty good vision. So um, I went and picked up this TCL uh, 32 inch, uh, simple and smart. Uh, I'll, link, I'll throw the model and everything of this, uh, this puppy that actually has uh, Google uh, built-in, uh, Android TV, uh, Chromecast, so uh, something more along the lines of something smart. And it was under 150 bucks. So forget all that uh, uh, curve display nonsense and all your quadruple resolution and all that good stuff. I just wanted a larger display that I can have, uh, I can use it for multiple things. Like I'll probably set this little space up with one of my systems 
or I can even you know cast uh, decks or uh, airplay and play the game on it that way as well. So, uh, and I'm also thinking about getting a Stadia. This comes with a remote, which is pretty dope. Regular monitors do not come with any remotes. I have an arm coming today, so it's not going to look as crazy as it does. But here's the remote here, uh, as you can see. That's your Netflix and Prime Video button, along with your Google Assistant. Um, yeah, so much, much better, in my opinion, uh, than a regular, a regular monitor. Mm -hmm. Be even nicer once I figure out how to get the back off <laughs> to put the batteries in. Ah, there it is. Whew. It's not super easy, but I got it. Definitely got to use that thumb strength. Okay, let's fire this bad boy up for the first time. Still got a few more things to peel off of it. I don't know if this is 720p or it probably is. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, I just wanted a larger display. And with this being the size that it is, I can split this up when I'm using a tiny little laptop screen like this for work or you know maybe the iPad when the iPad eventually gets it. But for now I can split this up into four displays or two really huge displays or one huge one to two smaller ones. So I want to go ahead and get through the setup process. Oh yeah guys, we can go ahead and do this together. The actual official. Oh wow, look at that. Why is that so good? Maybe we can't do that together. <laughs> together. Sheesh, that tape is strong. Bezels aren't, bezels aren't too bad on this. Like I said, I'm just looking for a nice large uh, display. And I'm trying to do the actual little plastic peeling with you guys. But uh, this monitor is like, uh, no way, buddy. So, anyway, I'm gonna peel this off, get this all polished up. Don't seem to be able to do it with one hand, guys. Uh, oh, look at that. Oh, I don't like that. Why did they do this? I don't really understand what they do. It's like a da almost like damages screen. Wow, look at that. That's so strong. That's some strong tape, guys. Just checking for updates. Very cool that this thing has remote and all. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what it can do and also seeing what it's going to look like on my arm once that comes. So anyway, I'll be back a little later when the arm comes to show you guys the finished product. All right guys, so here we go. I finally found out how to get to the peeling, so let's do it together. Man, it looks like I have an update. All right. Be back when the arm comes. All right, guys. So the uh, TV actually got an update as soon as I um, hooked it up, connected to my network, as you can see. So. I'm super excited. I am a fan of TCL. Um, I have, this will be the fourth TCL TV. I have a 55 in the basement, a 
which is also smart 4K. It's an older one, but it's still pretty nice. Very good television. Um, I have a 43 in my, no, 32 in my daughter's room, which is the same size as this with Roku. Uh, I have a 43 Ultra HD uh, in my bedroom with Roku. So this will be the fourth display, which is going to be used as a actual multimedia type of uh, display. So I'm super excited about this, guys. Well, in my additional space area. My door office, like I said, I get it in out here, guys, on the regular. Everything gets used, all the steel. I do want to not replace my bench, but I want to get a nicer bench uh, that has the cable machines and the pull-up bar so I can get rid of this whole thing I, I got from, uh, but it works. Um, I got this from a uh, thrift store for 25 bucks, believe it or not. It has the dips, push-ups, and all, so yeah, guys. So the garage is, you know, it's coming along. The space is coming along, guys. A little Mac section, autonomous. You know, my wife blessed me with this desk. I love this desk. Um, this is a 55-inch Sony. Uh, just HD with my gaming systems. Pardon the junk right now. I got to clean up a little bit. Um, I'll do an update on the space soon. It's my PC area. And that's my Mac area, all my beautiful, beautiful family I love extremely. I got to keep adding to it. That's why I did it that way. Some of the artwork, got a beautiful, don't judge my beautiful picture from my granddaughter right there. She is very talented. <laughs> all right, guys. So let's get back to this guy. Finish it up. I get it on the arm you'll see it's gonna give me all this desk space back so you'll see guys all right guys so as you can see beyond tv5 is what this bad boy is called so let's go ahead and do this little walkthrough together get an app from google play google play store offers apps you already know all that good stuff apps you're sure to love watch shows stream live sports, play games, and more. Talk to your Google Assistant. After, after setup, press the Assistant button on your, on your remote to quickly find the latest Blockbuster. Check the scores of the big game or control your TV. Cast your TV, cast to your TV with Chromecast built in, which is very cool. Uh, you can quickly cast photos, videos, and music from your phone right to your TV. Very cool. All right, environment is home, of course. United States, of course, I agree. Uh, please, user agreement. Um, agree. Wait, I guess I got it. Yeah. Okay. TCL account. I think I do have a TCL account. I think I do, so let me log in. All right, let me log into this real quick. What's going on, fam? <clears throat> Back at the garage office. So, real quick, just want to show you guys the finished product. Basically, uh, the setup. Got rid of that curved monitor. Too small. Needed something bigger. And here we go. So my arm came in today, which was the Mount Pro single monitor desk mount. And that's what I have the 32 inch appearing as it's floating. Don't judge me, I'll get a little bit of RGB going eventually over here. Um, and my cable management is just not the best. <laughs> so as you can see, I know it's a little bit dark, but there's my HP dock see the arm right there and 
So yeah, guys, that is the final. Let me put some ah. Get a little lighting so you can see it a little better. So glad I went with this TCL Smart TV instead of a monitor. So I know, you know, everybody doesn't really, you know, go for the whole monitor with PC, but I can show you why it truly works for me. So watch this. I'm gonna switch over to That's a spreadsheet right there, right? And, you know, of course, I can go up to, you know, four screens very comfortably on the 32. Not too big, not too small for this secondary desk setup here. Primary desk is back here. It's a little cold in the garage office too, guys. Anybody know about a decent uh, heater for the garage that's safe? <laughs> uh, let me know. Anyway, it's your boy, Big Humble Fit Tech. Just wanted to come back to you and show you another update for the garage office. Peace, love, and blessing. Electric semi truck, are we going to hear about that? They've been pushed back to 2023. And Elon Musk's logic was we're struggling for parts and we have supply chain crunches.